Hey, my name is Jobby, and this is your final warning. If you haven't watched Madoka Magica by now, I want a divorce. <laughs> With that being said, there's spoilers ahead. An accidental rhyme. I wish I was dead. And when I say spoilers, I'm not fucking around. You don't see this version of Hamura Akemi until the 10th episode, where it's revealed that before she was a time-traveling badass, she was a sickly, quiet, cute as fuck homosexual. And while this specific design first appears to be typical kawaii moshi desu desu cancer, she actually represents a part of the show where the themes of the story deepened. Instead of just being a dark take on the magical girl genre, it became a story about sacrifice, love, and fucking time travel. Up until that point, I really liked the show, but it wasn't until this reveal that I loved it. However, I don't feel as strongly for the figure. The painting and the sculpting on this figure is great. I'm proud to announce that this will be my last school uniform Figma that I review because I'm running out of things to say about the same fucking uniform. Cute shoes, check. Sock fetish, check. Skirt that's a little too short for my comfort level, check. What I can say though is the sculpting on the chest is a little weird. Compared to her magical girl form, it's a little less defined. Talk about boobs, check. This face sculpt is cute. With those geeky glasses and that worried expression, it's such a far cry from what we eventually get. But it is basically the same head sculpt we get with the magical girl Hamura, except with less hookage. Now I want to talk about something that I didn't emphasize enough in my original Hamura review. So the glasses, they're removable. But all of Hamura's faces, including the magical girl version, have these two little notches on the side, so you can put these cute ass glasses on any of the faces. This look never appears in the show, but now I kind of wish it did. And if you thought she couldn't get any cuter, <coughs> and her final included face is a little more suited to Magical Girl Hamura. You also get a pair of open hands, a pair of fists, a wide grip trigger finger hand, and a tight grip version, and a pair of grabby hands. But you also get a pair of hands that are specifically made for the Magical Girl figure. Beautiful painting and sculpting at the Soul Gem. These hands are actually made to grab included bow and arrows, but we'll get to that later. And it's worth noting, just like all of the other glorified expansion packs, all of the accessories of this figure are compatible with this figure, and vice versa. And god damn, what an expansion this is. But let's just get this out of the way. You get a bag, that's the same as all the other bags, fuck it. You get a machine gun, which fits nicely in the wide grip trigger hand. The gun looks a little ridiculous in this Hamra's hand, but with the Magical Girl version, it feels right at home. And you get an RPG, not the kind of RPG that should've came with Madoka, but the kind that would feel really bad going up your ass. Again, looks a little weird in Hamra's hands, but looks awesome in Hamra's hands. And finally, you get the Madoka is my lord starter pack. You get two arrows, and one of them can fit into this hand, which means you have an extra arrow to put wherever you want. Put in my hand, you get a bow, a long, beautiful bow, and that fits into this hand, and you get a bow, specifically a hairpiece with one of Madoka's ribbons. Now isn't that fucking gay? And that's simple to attach. This looks absolutely beautiful, Getting a little emotional because this is the last version of Hamura you see in the franchise. Um, actually... We'll get to that one day. But for now, let's talk about something a little less disappointing. Pivot at the head. The braided hair limits upward movement, but she can look down alright. And same complaint I had about the original Hamra figure, I wish these braids were articulated. But fuck it, who cares? Ball joint at the arm, allows for rotation. Arm moves out. Swivel here. Elbow. Swivel here. Up and down. Not sure if it's a ball joint at the chest or it's broken. <laughs> ball joint at the crotch. Ball joint at the hips. There should be a thigh swivel, but it's so tight that it doesn't matter. High degree of rotation. Beautiful spread. Bend at the knee. Up and down at the ankle. And a limited pivot. So the posability is really good, but the character in this form doesn't pull off many crazy action poses. So it's all kind of useless. Size comparison. Here's Figma Mami Tomoe. Figma Saika Miki. Figma Kyoko Sakura. Figma Hamura Akemi. And the love of her life, the Figma Madoka Kaname. Godzilla Prime. So the figure by itself is alright. <sighs> but as an expansion to the excellent Magical Girl Hamura, this figure is amazing. <sighs> as I've said many times before, I only recommend the school uniform figures to the Madoka Magica completionist. But if you're a casual Madoka collector and can afford only one school uniform figure, the amount of accessories this figure comes with makes Hamra worth it. Casual Madoka collector, that's like saying casual furry. You're either autistic or not.